indirect objects. So when an action verb has a direct object, it might, might also have an indirect object. An indirect object is the noun or pronoun. It comes after the action verb, but before the direct object. And it names the person or thing that something is given to or done for. So if you're doing an action, who's it being done for? If you're do, uh, doing something, who's it being given to? So indirect objects answer the question to whom or for whom or to what or for what. So an example, Lucy told him the news. In this sentence, we find the direct object being news here, right? Lucy told what? Lucy told news, the news. News is your direct object. So then you ask the next question. Well, to whom did she tell it? And the answer is him. Him is your indirect object. So Lucy told, right, what news to whom him. And this is typically how we would notate it in a sentence with arrows like this. So you'll notice that the arrow to your direct object goes out and then it comes back for your indirect object. And that is a very typical pattern. LeBron James shows his teammates new shots. And here, new is not your direct object. Shots is, that spacing must have gotten messed up there. There we go, we'll just fix that. So shots is our direct object. LeBron James is your subject. Shows is your verb. LeBron James shows what? Well, he shows the shots, right? And then to whom? Well, he shows it to his teammates, right? So your teammates is your indirect object there. Most sentences with an indirect object follow the exact same pattern. You have your subject, then you have your verb, then you have your indirect object, and you have your direct object. So it seems like you would want to find your indirect object first. Keep in mind, an indirect object never follows the preposition to or for, because that would be then the object of the preposition, to or for. So in order to have an indirect object, there cannot be those prepositions in the sentence. So an example, the assistant gave the players towels. Okay, so in this sentence, assistant is your subject, gave is your verb. What did the assistant give? The assistant gave towels to whom the players subject verb indirect direct another example the assistant gave towels to the players in this sentence to the players is a prepositional phrase we would cross it off because players cannot be the indirect object it's now the object of the preposition and so when we say the assistant gave what while well, the assistant gave the towel still direct object to whom we can no longer answer it because we've crossed this off because of a, it being a propositional phrase, okay? So <clears throat> you will never have your indirect object follow your direct object because it's most likely part of a prepositional phrase. So what that means then is that um, like direct objects, a sentence can have a compound indirect object. He gave Chuck and Steve their desserts. In this sentence, he gave what? Desserts. So again, desserts is our direct object. And then you're going to ask to whom did he give it? And he gave it to Chuck and to Steve. So we're going to have two indirect objects there, making it a compound preposition. You always have to look for the direct object first, even though it comes after the indirect object. And that's because you can't give something to someone if you don't have it. You can't give Chuck and Steve a dessert if you don't have the dessert, right? So you'll only ever have an indirect object if you already have a direct object, okay? No indirect, no direct object means no indirect object.
Okay, again, can't give to Chuck and to Steve something I don't already have, the desserts. However, you can certainly have a direct object without an indirect object, right? So we could put it in a prepositional phrase, or maybe we don't know, right? We just say, hey, he gave out the desserts, right? And so he gave out the desserts, you still have your direct object, but there is no indirect object in the sentence.